Well, of course, one of the main purposes of this video blog is to give us a way, a very brief way through poetry to regain our perspective when we lose it. And I think poems are particularly powerful to be able to help us do that. And I don't know about you, but one of the ways that I can lose my own perspective uh, the fastest is being usually in some kind of disagreement or argument or whatever and trying very hard to be right. It's a way that I can lose my center very easily. And when we do that, when we do that is almost always, it is almost always unskillful. In fact, there's an old saying that says, you have the choice. You can either be right or you can be happy, but you can't be both. So um, there's some truth in that. The poem I want to bring you today is by the great Israeli poet Yehuda Amakai, And there's a wonderful poem he wrote, which I think reminds us of this very, very point. And he called the poem, The Place Where We Are Right. The Place Where We Are Right. From the place where we are right, from the place where we are right, flowers will never grow in spring. The place where we are right is hard and trampled like a yard, hard and trampled like a yard. But doubts and loves dig up the world, but doubts and loves dig up the world like a mole, a plow, and a whisper, and a whisper, where we'll be heard in the place where the ruined house once stood. It is our certainties that crucify. It is our certainties that crucify. Our doubts and our loves dig up the world, and the flowers can then grow. It is our certainties that crucify. It is our certainties that crucify. Our loves and our doubts dig up the world so the flowers can then grow. There's a great poem for you to remind us all how important it is to allow our doubts and our loves to help dig up the world and to remember that it is our certainties that crucify. Our doubts and our loves dig up the world and provide a space so that the flowers can then grow. Thank you for listening. Until next time and next poem.